Hi, you guys have caught me eating my favorite breakfast in the morning and that's honey and toast. I've been enjoying that and it's reminded me of a book about a monster called Munch and he loves toast. If you look at the cover, look how much toast he enjoys eating and look at all the delicious jams he has. Although when you read the book, some of the jams don't sound that tasty, but for Munch, he really, really enjoys them. I love reading this book because it has such a surprise ending. And I've read it with my great R's before and we had a good laugh at the end. And we were all surprised what happened. And I also enjoy write, reading the story because it's written by Emma McCain. And Emma is my daughter's name. So I'm going to enjoy reading this book to you. And if you haven't read it before or listened to it before, enjoy the surprise ending that's coming. So the alarm clock went off. Ding, ding just as Munch was enjoying a very nice dream about toast and coconut jam. Dragging himself out of bed, he went to the kitchen to have breakfast. He was just munching his way through his 17 slices of toast with banana jam when something caught his eye in the newspaper. Giant monster goes on ravenous rampage, it said. Good grief, exclaimed Munch out loud, dropping his toast on the floor. Maybe I should stay home and protect my house from being eaten. So Munch sat up all day and all night, but no enormous monster came. The same evening, over 11 slices of toast with broccoli jam, Munch put on the television. The news was on and something caught his eye. The enormous monster that Munch had seen in the newspaper was on the television gulping down trees and lampposts and buses and anything else it could fit into its gigantic mouth. Jumping jam jars, cried Munch out loud. I'm definitely staying at home. Munch sat up all night and all day, but no enormous monster came. The next morning, Munch went to make toast and jam as usual, but something wasn't quite right. Where's my television? Where's my fridge? They were definitely there yesterday. Then Munch noticed the worst thing of all. Can you guess what it was? Where's my toaster? He marched outside, slamming the door and came face to face with the enormous monster. Oi, he shouted, you've eaten my jam. The enormous monster looked all around to see where the little voice was coming from. It saw Munch's angry face and started to laugh. And the more it laughed, the angrier Munch became. The enormous monster came closer and closer, licking its lips. It bent down, opened its mouth and... Crunch! Munch swallowed him up instead. Pity he had no jam though. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this delicious jam story. And now maybe you guys can go make your own sandwich or your own toast with your favorite thing on top. And um, maybe also enjoy a book as well at the same time. Have fun guys, bye.